Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I am going to uh, add some a new feature to the horse animation. So as you can see here, when I turn, you can see the front part of the horse head is turning like this. So that there is some kind of a bend in the horse body and this wasn't there in the last version I'll show you the last version in a moment so yeah this is what I'm going to show you today and with that what I'm going to try to achieve is uh, I'm I want to make this horse feel more organic more natural right so let's get started and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me and i am really happy to say i see my patreon club is growing now i got 15 members that's a lot for me and thank you for the support and if you like to support my work you can join my patreon club and depending on the tier you join you will have different uh, privileges i have explained those privileges here i'll put the link in the description below right let's uh, get back to work all right so let's see how our current uh, horse animations look like so this is when i walk and when I turn this horse uh, turns into the walking direction but that is completely unrealistic so I am going to find a way to implement that turning movement in a better way and uh, actually I do have this uh, turn animation let me open it yeah this one but uh, the problem with this animation is I can't use this with the blend space because when I loop this uh, it uh, this happens uh, what you see in this screen and maybe there is a way to use this animation but I don't know that yet so therefore I'm going to try a simpler method like this so let's yeah let's open the walk in animation first and I'll show you what I'm trying to do it may or may not work this is an experiment so let's see how this turns out in the end so yeah when this horse is uh, turning I'm going to rotate this uh, spine like this so when he's turning right I'm going to rotate the spine like this and turning left like this and yeah well this looks a little bit unrealistic if I do it like this but somewhere over here that's okay I guess yeah so I think it would add some natural moment some organic effect to this horse moments let's see how it turns out okay so how do we do this first what's that uh, born again yeah horse spine 2 so what if we rotate something else well that's no I think we can turn from here spine 2 okay so yeah I'm going to use there is a node what's the node mode if I not that 
this trans no transform modify bone yeah this one can I plug it here yes and plug it back now the bone that we are going to modify is uh, this one horse spine 2 where do I specify that yeah here horse spine 2 right and I'm going to ignore translation and I'm going to ignore scale I only want to modify the rotation and actually this is a little uh, not little this is very confusing and I'm pretty sure I would not be able to get this uh, correct in the first try so should I use replace so add to existing and should I use component space or parent bone space? Well, let's well let's try this. Let's say we want to use uh, well let's figure this out. So let's keep in the component space and let's make this part a little larger so that we can see and we go to the top view like this and let's edit value some value and see what happens i'll add 45 and compile well nothing is happening all right i have to let's add to existing okay so that's not what i want to do so it's not x that we should modify and but this is interesting right we can use this to do stuff like ik right so let's try y well that's also not what i should have changed so that means we we'll, one thing left to try and that is z right so this is the value we should change 45 okay this is when we turn right and minus 45 ah, this is when we turn left okay so now I'll split this and yeah now I think I already have calculated the speed side and speed forward so using this value let's modify this set so I'm going to print the side value and see what kind of values we get for that so that we would have a better idea on how to change the angle where is my horse okay he's here all right okay in the left side you can see the side speed value so it's almost zero now and when I turn it increases to like 400 and minus 400 right so that means uh, yeah now we have a rough idea about the variation of side speed it is going to be in between like 400 and minus 400 so let's go here and let's get the speed side and how do we well let's divide this by 10 well is that a good way to do the calculations not really but let's try that so 400 mean well anyway we should not increase uh, this turning more than 45 
decrease because it looks very if I do it more than that it looks really creepy unrealistic so therefore I'm gonna clamp this value in between minus 45 and 45 and plug it here and I'm gonna divide it by if we got like maximum value 400 let's try 7 actually this is going to be a little bit of trial and error procedure but we may have a better way to do the uh, calculate the angle directly but I'm well I can't think of that right now if I go if I if I'm going to think of that then it will take more time so let's try this simple way yeah he's okay yeah we have some kind of yeah that's working even though it's not super realistic that's working isn't it and also we have a problem with sliding the back side of the horse well, that's because the middle capsule of the horse is let's see where it is Where's the horse again? I always lose him. Okay. Right. Yeah. We get this uh, sliding of backside because the middle capsule is here. So instead, if we put it somewhere here, I think that would be better. So let's try that. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, I should move the mesh. And everything else, everything else is attached to the mesh, right? Let's put the box also inside the mesh. And move it. I hope this wouldn't introduce extra problems. Right, now let's see. And definitely we gonna have to work on collisions for the horse but let's do that in, a, in another episode right right I think that's isn't this good enough yeah let's uh, see from the front side it's not very clear from the front side let's check from the top side okay I think uh, this is all I want to do for today and like this let's continue to improve the horses uh, movement I want it to be more organic than what we have now right so I thought you learned something I think you learned something and let's stop this video now and and once again thanks for watching and feel free to share with your friends and also if you haven't subscribed yet you can subscribe and if you have any more questions you can and suggestions you can let me know in the comment section below or you can join my patreon club and you can answer any question there or you will find the access to the project files as well right see you in the next episode goodbye